Hey, what's up YouTube? Here's a quick video to let you know that I updated my fade slash occlusion system to UE5 to fix a small bug that appeared with UE5 and also add an extra feature to the system which now lets you use it for point and click projects. If you want to know more about this system, I invite you to watch the video dedicated to it that I made. Anyway, you see it used to be a shader only system, so actors, meshes, components and all that were only hidden on the GPU using shaders, so line traces and such would still hit those quote unquote hidden components because those components still had their collision settings unchanged, right? So I updated a few things here and there in the system to allow you to quite easily turn off collisions on hidden components so you can now do proper line traces and such. If for any reason turning off collision isn't your thing though, I refactored some part of the system to make it a little bit cleaner and a little bit easier to expand, so hopefully you should be able to implement your own solution way more easily now. So I'm quite happy with that. Now as a user point of view there's not much that changed. You still have to set up everything like I explained in my first video, but to now use that extra feature, you pretty much just need to use the appropriate tags on your components and everything should work automatically. So let's see, you need to tag all your components with the correct floor tag, so floor 0, floor 1, floor 2 and so on. That may be tedious to do, so what you can do is create a single scene component, add that floor tag to it and parent all the desired components to it and it will work. The system will find that scene component and get all its children to do its thing, right? On top of that, you also need to set the walls delta, again using tags, so for instance delta n for north, e for east, w for west, and s for south. And one last thing, you need to specify the amount of floors in that newly added variable in that fade component here. And then you can choose to update those components visibility, collision, or both. Now press play and you may use line traces to move your character around using a nav mesh and voila, should work just fine. If you're interested in that system, it's available as a tier 3 reward on my Patreon. Ok, that's it, thanks for the support, consider subscribing to the channel and take care of yourself. Bye bye!